Okay, we're filming. Here we go. So uh, we're gonna. I'm a believer in taking the attendants out. And these, we just caged these queens on Monday, and now we're putting them in nukes. And we've got the nukes all set up, but we have to get the attendants out of that cage. And so you could use a queen muff and or whatever, but it's really not that difficult. So what do you do? First, is you pull the cork on the on the end without the candy. Put your hand on there, finger on there, and then you just sort of blow on them a little bit. <laughs> And they all come out. And they all come flying out because they're smaller than the queen. And you don't need no freaking queen muff. And there you go. There you oh, There you go. Now you take the queen cage out of the, uh, the can, uh, cork out of the other end. And so you don't forget it, you know. And you use that one to plug the original end. And there you go. Nice. Do another one. Finished. Oh yeah, I can do another one. So we cage so, these Monday, and today is Wednesday. Thank you. And so here's another one. It's a, it's a 48. This is the daughter of a daughter of a Sue Kobe queen. Nice dark carniole, and see how she's she's in there. She's right there on the top. She, you can't see her back, but she's pretty dark. So we first we pull the cork on the end without the candy, and then start to blow on them. There they come. And out come the, if you want to put your finger there, you can, or or you can actually catch them. If she comes out, she can, you can catch her. It's actually better, because it's quicker, if she would just come out. But oftentimes she won't, but oftentimes she will. And so there she is. So you shake the bees out. Now there's no more bees. Now you stick her butt in the hole, but what, uh, oh no, it's your butt. Well, queens have reverse gear. Watch. There she goes. Nicely done. <laughs> Have a nice day.